go check out this office space. I'm really excited. My plan with this office space is to obviously use it as an office and work from there every single day, as well as have it as a small event space. I wanna host gatherings featuring, bringing in a lot of influencers that live in the city or in the Bay Area and just bringing them all together. And I also wanna use it as a way for people to rent it as a studio, just because I see a huge lack of really aesthetically pleasing studios. Like there's so many in LA, but there isn't, there isn't a lot in SF. They're kind of like expensive or at somebody's house. So I'm not about that. I wanna change that. I'm really excited. I used to have an office before actually in LA, but it was in a co-working spot. So I was sharing it with so many other people. And like this office building is a traditional office building. So I'm really excited for that. Like I have to buy my own Wi-Fi and all the things. So that's exciting. <laughs> the apartment i love the history behind it i love the ceilings like just the architecture was marvelous i love the office space itself it actually has a lot of light it has the biggest windows in all of the entire building and for 200 square feet it's really spacious and just what i need so i'm gonna think about that for the next couple of days i also really love the energy of the entire place i'm all about energy so that was great i will think about that in the next couple of days but right now, I need to pack for Carmel by the Sea. If you didn't know, I go to Carmel once a month. They are, the city of Carmel is my client and I'm currently filming all of their restaurants. So I go once a month and have been for the last couple of months. And this time I'm gonna be there for two days. So I'm gonna pack a suitcase. Normally I pack like a little weekender, but this time I'm gonna pack a suitcase and I'm gonna show you some clothing that I wanna shoot some skincare brand, hair care, all the things. So let's get off with it. to quickly get ready and leave for dinner. The other night, I met this amazing woman. She's from Montreal. She's visiting San Francisco for the very first time. And I met her at this wine bar called Celeste, which is in Cow Hollow. And we hit it off immediately. I loved her energy. I loved everything about her. And I knew that I wanted to see her again. So I had asked if she was free for dinner because she's leaving this Sunday or Saturday but I won't be in town majority of the week, so this is the only night that I could do dinner. So she said yes, and I'm on my way to go see her. I'm so excited. She just had such a great vibe to her, and it's been a long time since I've really had a good conversation and really hit it off with someone. So yeah, that is my evening. We're going to have dinner at Flower and Water. I'm really looking forward to it. I've actually never eaten, actually, I've eaten there before, but not for dinner. So I'm really excited to go there and have a great evening with her. to leave for Carmel. I wanted to show you my outfit of the day as well as give you like a little recap of how last night went. It was so nice. I actually was just brought to tears during the dinner just because we just 
had such a deep heart to heart talk it's so crazy like i literally just met this woman and we just had such a great time together so i was really happy to meet her and just spend time with her um it just makes you really appreciate people and human kindness and just putting yourself out there and being in this constant state of receiving you never know who you're gonna meet who you're gonna come across but you're gonna learn and it was just such an impactful interaction for me and I, I never really feel like this so it's um, interesting for me anyway this is my outfit for today I'm wearing this blue pinstriped button-up I freaking love this outfit combo I think I wear it at least once or twice a month these are white flowy pants and then I'm wearing my Cezanne flats and then a pearl necklace and this is by my friend's jewelry brand it's called and breathe it's like a little lock oh and I need to do it I'm pretty much all packed for Carmel I I'm packing a little bit more clothes than usual just because I want to get some content done and really showcase these flats. Um, I'm so freaking obsessed with these flats. So I want to showcase like how you can style them with so many different outfits. So I brought quite a few outfits. This is going to be my perfume of choice. This is the Kiehl's Original Musk. At first, I honestly did not like this perfume. I gave it to my boyfriend. I was like, here you go. This is more you. But then after trying it on, on my body it smells different on me of course of course like all perfumes react differently to our ph but it smelled so nice that i'm in love with it and now i'm gonna wear it for this trip so this is the kiehl's original musk blend number one this oil was believed to have been created in the 1920s at the kiehl apothecary Discovered there in a vat labeled Love Oil in the late 50s, Kiehl's signature scent was reintroduced to our patrons in 1963. Okay, so she's got history. Love her. Speaking of perfumes, I will be taking quite a bit of perfumes with me on this trip. One of my clients is Linen Tutu. It is a female-owned natural perfume brand, and I absolutely love all of her perfumes. They smell so crisp, very spring, very just fresh i absolutely love every single scent i actually have oh so good i actually so i keep all my uh perfumes in the fridge so let me get my actual bottle these are just to of course create content with otherwise they would all be halfway done this is my perfume this is like my actual perfume she's almost done like i love this perfume this is hearsay at three it has a really nice masculine scent to it and it lingers so well with your body like it just oh so good i'm not really great at describing scents if i had to be completely honest so i'm probably probably not doing these scents justice but everything smells great you'll just have to take my word for it <laughs> aside from that i'm bringing my makeup my skincare and a few more tech uh, like my t my camera gear just because um, I normally in my bag I carry like three cameras with me and one light and a uh, microphone but for this I like to of course pack more so I'm, I'm bringing my chargers I'm bringing a microphone like an actual microphone and just different uh, chargers for my cameras um, which is also why I'm filming this vlog on my phone because I don't want to use the battery on my other cameras so in the future videos i definitely will be using my camera but just for this trip in this vlog i'm gonna use my phone i'm i'm gonna start um doing my makeup shortly but before i go i want to show you this bag that i got it's by freya new york my girlfriend mia sent it to me she works with them and oh my gosh it's such a nice bag i got this last friday but this is going to be my first time formally taking it out it's such a nice structured bag and it fits so much so this is going to be my dedicated work bag from here on out it fits a lot like when i say it fits a lot i mean it really fits a lot i have my laptop in here i have an extra tote bag <laughs> I have hand sanitizer, a book, I'm gonna be adding in my three cameras and my iPad, like all the things. So um, 
this is this is great and it's also vegan leather so this is going to be my go-to work bag from here on out anyway i'm gonna start getting ready and i will talk to you guys when i'm on the road Just wrapping up with restaurant one. This is called the Grill on Ocean Avenue. I really love their offerings. Really good. Really great service. Stoner. It's great. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just talking to EJ about how everyone should carry manifestation cards wherever they go. This is from my friend Camille. Um, she actually creates these cards, and it's such a great conversation starter because. Obviously, you pull out a card and sometimes it just resonates with what you're going through at that current moment. I wish I did this last night at the dinner, but anyway, I pulled out a card and it was about physical appearance and it's so funny because like five minutes prior to that, I just, I was like, I love okay. So it's funny. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I did not think to vlog the last couple of hours just because I was so focused on creating content for the restaurant so I just it just went over my head but I wanted to finish off the day by telling you how the day went and where I'm at so every time I come to Carmel I stay at Candlelight Inn I absolutely love this hotel I have such a huge knack for bed and breakfast and inns and Carmel has a little bit of both and Candlelight Inn is one of those places that just gives me such a homey vibe. Like, of course, I've stayed at high-end luxury resorts, I've worked with them, but there's something so good that feels so good about an inn and a bed and breakfast. So I'm really happy to be um, always here. I would told the guy, Frank, I was like, every time I come here, I feel like I'm coming home. So hi. <laughs> um, so it's nice to have like someone familiar and a place that's familiar for a place that I always frequent. So that was my day. It was just full of restaurant coverage and eating and drinking some wine. It was an amazing day nonetheless. I got some great content in, met some amazing people, ate some yummy food, and of course had some yummy cocktails. So I'm gonna finish the day off here. I will start the vlog back up tomorrow morning. So good night. Ba, ba, ba. restaurant called stationary this morning and it is my new favorite i say that every time i go to carmel i'm like oh this is my new favorite spot but like this right now currently it's my new favorite spot the aesthetics the branding the coffee the food the hospitality was amazing definitely made it on my favorites list um right now we currently have 20 minutes so we're gonna go to coach and get that bag and then I'm gonna shoot the second restaurant, and then I have one right after it, and then I'm free. Tonight we're thinking of going to the lodge at Pebble Beach and then Mission Ranch. So we're going to have a really nice day today. Pebble Beach. Prior to this, we were at Carmel 
Valley and we went to a nice tasting room. Totally forgot to vlog, so I wanted to show you where I'm at and end off the day here. dinner tonight and we're staying there so we're gonna go home unpack tend to the cat clean up a little bit and then go to the proper so that's our day today happy friday also i decided to bring these shoes back out of retirement i love these shoes they're so cozy this is my fit for the day all white with a denim this is my grandpa's jacket and then the shoes and then just simple makeup and then this is oh wait we're we're matching <laughs> we just got to il forneo um i actually have to go to the co uh, the cafe and film some coffee content so that i could add it to the video and then we have a free day <laughs> stop to Katie's place which is a really cute diner that I created content for last month so it was really nice to go there and enjoy it and actually drink my hot chocolate while it was hot. The drive was a really long. It took a little longer than expected because there were accidents on the road. Um, it was pouring down rain so there were just a couple of accidents and of course we had to drive slower so Luckily, fortunately, we made it home safe and sound and Chandler was just really happy to see us. However, we have two hours at home until we have to pack up again and leave for the proper hotel. Really excited for that. It's an 11 course dinner lit over next day plus wine pairings. So I will show you guys what I'm wearing and we'll go from there. There's been a slight hiccup. The dinner isn't actually tonight and it's been pushed to the 8th. My contact for the PR agency didn't let me know. So we're just here enjoying our drink. We might stay here, we might not. Either way, we'll be happy regardless. <laughs> so we're just gonna enjoy our bubbly, take some cute pics and go from there.
it's a new day. We checked out of the proper, like we literally woke up and went straight home. Um, EJ is out for a run right now with his best friend that's visiting from LA and I quickly got ready. I'm going to leave for a launch party in Mill Valley. It's for this lash studio who did my lashes. Um, it's the cutest lash studio ever and I really wanted to make sure I would go and support. So I made time for that this weekend. I'm gonna show you my outfit. I am wearing the same skirt. Excuse the mess of the apartment. Um, I'm wearing this sweater by Cezanne. And then the shoes are Cezanne, of course. This is from Topshop. I got it when I was literally a freshman in high school. I bought it in Vegas and I just, I never, ever, ever want to let it go. It's one of my favorite staple pieces ever. And then I'm wearing my little coach bag. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with this bag. And then I'm wearing my mom's gold earrings. She's had these since high school. And then the same pearl necklace that I've been wearing. Um, I'm just going to go bare face. I put some sunscreen on. It's like a tinted sunscreen and then I put a blush sunscreen and then I put a bronzer sunscreen. So I don't I really don't feel like putting makeup on. I I feel like my skin has just been withering apart the last few days. And also, I don't know why. I've kind of had this thought that I am starting to look older with makeup on. I don't know why. I just feel like it like drags my face down. I feel like I need to come up with a new method or just go for a more natural root so i don't know i feel like my face is changing or something anyway i'm gonna go and drive over it's like a 20 minute drive and i will show you guys how the party's going i'll see you later chandler this is the outfit and um yeah this is gonna be the last time i'm leaving my cat gosh i feel so bad we've left him for like a couple of days so I will come straight home right after and take a breather. I am so tired. All right, I'm home. The launch party was so cute. Unfortunately, I could only be there for like 30 minutes because EJ forgot the keys to the apartment like his set of keys so I had to rush back home anyway I will end the vlog right here I'm gonna drink my blue bottle that EJ got for me he's out with his friends for the day and I am going to decompress my social battery is so so depleted I'm going to cuddle with my cat, edit videos, edit photos, schedule it out because next week is going to be even busier. It's my birthday week. Yeah, thanks so much for watching my video. If you made it this far, Illy, it means a lot to me. And now I'm going to tend to my cat. Say bye. Bye to the vlog. Also, I'm thinking the next vlog will be filmed on my camcorder. I'm going to switch mediums every video um, and we'll go from there. Okay, bye.